Hi, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Stephanie and this is the Farmhouse Mom. Today, I would like to show you how much meat you would get if you ordered a pig from a local farmer and then had it processed at a local butcher. So thanks for joining me and let's take a look. Okay, so it's kind of hard to see for scale, but I'm going to um, just kind of bunch this together. So we have three big pork shoulder roasts. Um, we've got two large pork loins and then and then I'm gonna weigh everything just to be sure and I'll do that later. Um, we've got some pork spare ribs. We have a big half ham here and then another big half ham here. Um, this is going to be the large, so I haven't quite decided what I'm gonna do with this, but I wanted to take it home. We've got um, ham ends, that would be great for soup. And then we've got all of these, which are pork chops, and I'll be putting the pounds um, on the screen so you can see how many pounds of each that we've got. We have all of our pork sausage here. We've got some pork neck bones. We've got some pork cutlets. I've actually used these. Um, we had chicken fried steak last night, which was really good. And then bacon. So this is how much bacon you get. Um, we also got the heart and the liver. We'll probably be feeding those to the dogs. We've got one, two, three, four pork shoulder steak. pounds of meat. So the pig was 291 pounds when it was dropped off at the butcher. So 76% of that is 221, which is what it was hanging weight, which would be with the skin off and I believe the head off. And then we got 71% of the hanging weight into actual meat. So the type of pig that we ordered was an Idaho pasture pig. So that is a mix of a Berkshire, which has a reputation for really good tasting meat, um, a Durak, and then a Kune Kune. And so the um, appeal of a Kune Kune is it is supposed to be a pasture pig as well, which means it will just eat grass and supposedly it's not supposed to um, you know, make your, your land and your pasture really muddy, but I have heard from some people that it happens anyway. We paid $1,050 for the pig. It cost $238 to have it processed. And so we averaged $8.21 per pound for all of the cuts of meat that we that we got. So it might sound kind of expensive. Um, you think, well, I can go to the store and I can get, you know, I can get, pork chops and I can get ham a lot cheaper than that. It was important for us is one, we know the person that raised the pig. We know where the pig was raised. We know what it was fed. And we also know that it wasn't from China and it wasn't from like a big feedlot. So that's why we thought that it was, was worth it. Um, and we, buy our cows. This is the first time we've bought a pig, but we will be doing it again. Um, and we process our own turkeys and chickens just for ourselves. So we are really trying to, um, you know, trying to just buy local. So it, it's gonna be more expensive when you buy local, but it is going to be healthier for you. So my case is in why I think that is worth the cost, if you can cut out all of kind of the extra things you buy, if you think about going to a restaurant or your Starbucks or all of, all of those types of things, um, I think that it's, it's affordable and um, I hope you enjoyed this information. Thank you so much. Please like and subscribe our videos and we'll see you next time.